How can you be fearless and free? We're going to talk about this today. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back, creators. I have a great uh, lesson today. I want to talk about fearlessness. And when I talk about that, and that really is freedom, right? If we're free from fear, we are free, right? This is true freedom. When I talk about fearlessness, I'm not talking about ignoring fear because we're all going to have fear. It's what we do with that fear. That's truly being fearless, right? It's, it's being fearless in the face of fear. It sounds like a paradox, I know, but uh, stay with me here. So it's situations are going to come up, life experiences. Really, the only thing we, we have to fear is, is the experiences and the things that we think or that we feel that are going to come up in, in our life, right? Otherwise, there is nothing to fear, right? It could be death. It could be other things. I, I think underlying this is remembering who you are, right? Remembering that, that, um, that you, are the, you are the power. You are, the, you, know, you are that higher power. So if there's a higher power um, looking out for you, it's you, it's your higher being. There's, a, there's your inner being is always looking out with you. I don't. How more secure and fearless can you be when you know that you have a that that the higher power is you, and that there's an inner being that you that that you are that that you are part of that God consciousness. That that death is even impossible is even impossible, right? That you are eternal. That there is no end. So once you get this, guys, when events do come up, as, as we're banging it out in our world, right? Because you can't escape it. You can't run away from it. You can't go live in the mountains. That's not, that's not living fearlessly. That's hiding, right? We're going to bang it up in this physical reality. And so when events come up, they're all understanding that anything that happens is neutral. We give the meaning to it, right? And even if it's a, if it's a negative event that we perceive as negative, that's directly impacting us. You got to, once you take responsibility as the creator and then know that you can choose again, you can create, you, there's two things you can do. One, acknowledge that you created it. Two, decide what your relationship to it is. You get to decide that, right? You've get, you, everything is neutral. You get to decide what your relationship to it is, right? And if you accept it, this is how you can, this is how you decline events. This is how you, you don't, put your attention on them and have them in your vibration reality, accept them and then let it go, right? It's only when we get attached and we, we start getting emotional about events, whether it's positive or negative, they become, we become attached to them and they, be, they get into our experience. If we're true creators, we're creating constantly and we're dispassionate about it. We don't get attached to them. We know that we can create again. This is living fearlessly, knowing and free, right? Knowing that no matter what event happens, that, that we created it. If, it's, if, if we put our attention on it and it's, in, and it's affecting us, that we created it and we get to decide how it's going to affect us. We get to decide our relationship to the world and the events around us. This is powerful. And thirdly, you get to create again. You get to choose again. So this is really powerful. Um, uh, don't judge, guys. Don't judge events. Don't resist them and don't try to get rid of them. This is key because all of this type of thing, when you judge, when you resist, when you try to get rid of something, it stays in your, in your experience. It stays in your vibration. So, so whatever it is, don't, don't judge it. Don't resist it. Don't try to get rid of it. Just let it be what it is. It's incredible power when you can do this. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's being the, be that silent observer, right? It, the, you know, Shakespeare said, life's a play. Step outside the play, even though if you're, even if you're participating in it, be the observer, right? You can always step outside of it or within it, you can be the observer. Watch the events. Understand that you're establishing the relationships. It's your energy. You're not a victim, guys. You are a creator, right? Be the observer. Detach yourself from the event. It's, it's about being dispassionate. Whether, whatever side they're on, positive or negative. Remember, if we get too attached positively to events, that means, if, that, that means we're at the that whim of someone taking it away. It ending in us being, having a negative emotion about that. So it's not good to get attached to anything, good or bad. Really true. And, 
and then you have real true power. You can enjoy the good stuff and then don't, and then, and then don't have the negative stuff get into your, to your experience. This is the power, right? This is following the path of least resistance, right? Because your higher you, your inner you, that God part of you, that God consciousness is going to lead you along the way, always is leading you along the way to path of resist, least resistance. We're the ones that create the resistance, right? They, you, they, they try to drag you along and you say, no, 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 right? And you're putting resistance on the path, right? It's there for you. We're the ones that make our lives difficult. We're the ones that create the struggle, the grief, the obstacles to, to, to get over. Activate, this is what Vadim Zeeland says in Reality Transurfing. I will put a link below. He talks about activating your inner guardian and be the observer. That inner guardian is that inner being. That's, that's that God, he's really pointing to that God consciousness in you. That spirit, that higher spirit that is already in the metaphysical space looking out for you. That's part of you, that's part of your soul that's already there, already in, in that deep love, right? That perfect you that's a part of you, right? Practice radical, unconditional love. This is amazing. If you do this, then it's impossible to have the opposite of that, which is any type of fear, any type of emotion, fear-based emotion, whether it's jealousy or guilt or shame or frustration or irritation. Impossible when you're practicing radical, unconditional love, right? Unconditional love is the emotion. And if you think, well, I don't know how to get there. Well, that is you. You're already there. It's everything we do in physicality covers it up since we were born, right? We've been told about the tragedies of the world, the difficulties of the world, that not everybody has it good. We've been taught these polarities since we've been born, but really we were, we were, we were unconditional love. We're always unconditional love. We're just covering it up, right? Remember, all events and experiences are neutral. You, give the, you decide what they mean to you, right? You decide what they mean to you. There's nothing outside of you. The universe and everything is within you. This is incredible, right? We live in a, um, uh, a, a universe of energy uh, and beyond that, right? This divine matrix that encompasses the universe and, and all that energy in between, it contains you, me, it is the God consciousness. That unconditional awareness of God is part of us, so we're not outside of it. So when everything that we touch is inside us, right? It's in our consciousness and then it becomes our reality. So guys, be fearless, be free. This is how you do it. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and, and comment and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Until next time, this is Tom with great love.